Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is my first Q&A video where I will try to address the most asked comments and questions posted to my various videos. This kind of Q&A and a gem giveaway will be a monthly regular from here on in. To enter this month's bumper prize giveaway, please click the exclamation mark in the top right hand corner of the screen. There are lots of shinies to be had. There's been a lot happening this week in Tyria, but this is a spoiler-free video, fear not. I will, of course, be making videos about the new story, but I'm waiting a few weeks until most players have run the content. If you have any questions and would like to appear on next month's Q&A, please pop them into the comment section of this video, and I will do my best to answer them all. I want to get this out of the way first, because it's a bit of a crappy topic, so let's rip that band-aid off and jump into the leaks. After my live stream on the 2nd of May, I headed over to Wooden Potato's channel and watched his video on the topic. You should really go and check that out yourself, it was very informative, and I largely agree with what he said. I too will not be using any of the leaked information to make videos. When Anet releases information, I will talk about it, but only then. I have too much respect for the hard work and dedication the development teams put into the game to use and abuse leaks for my short-term personal gain. I think leaks have been used in the past to boost general interest in Guild Wars 2. I have jumped on many a hype train myself, but I think the scale and frequency of the current leaks do far more harm than good. From a purely moral point of view, I think a breach of promise is a very poor show. Be it to a company or a friend, your word should be good or you have no credibility. Speaking more generally, leaks can be in the national interest. Uh, I think the last 18 months in politics have shown that. However, it would be a little bit of a stretch to suggest that these game leaks were about the greater good. At least not to my mind. Do you guys think that leaks build hype for the upcoming expansion? Or are they just spoilers, killing the fun of discovery when the expansion finally arrives? Please do let me know in the comments below what your opinion is about all this. Onwards to less divisive topics. I get a lot of comments, some good, some bad, about my vocals, and I would like to try and clear up a few misconceptions. I have discovered that my voice has a rather Marmite quality to it. Peeps either like it or they hate it with a burning passion. It's not something I have ever really given any thought to. It's just me. I think something. I say something. Hopefully in that order. Also, to clarify, I I'm not whispering. I'm just quite softly spoken to the point where I do struggle to converse in uh, fairly noisy environments. In a noisy bar, I kind of have to become an impromptu mime. Uh, this is how to win friends and influence people. Not, not, no. So, a lot of comments about what's with the accent. Originally, I'm from the north of England, South Lakes to be a little bit more accurate. Um, I've never really had a strong northern twang, and most of what I did have has been diluted because I'm a bit of a nomad. So, basically, it's a mongrel non-accent accent now. And the next thing is still about the voice, sorry, <laughs> there is a lot of questions about it, the ASMR thing. The first time I heard about the genre it was in the comment section of my video. I had to google it and found ladies and gentlemen whispering their shopping lists to camera, which was uh, just a little bit confusing. After digging into it further, it, 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 I did find it interesting, yes. Which leads to the next question I get asked on a regular basis. Will I make an ASMR channel? Um, maybe. <laughs> I find narration uh, quite challenging and, and rewarding, to be honest. So it's a solid, perhaps, <laughs> in the future, at some point, uh, maybe. Tristan, one of my lovely patrons, asked me a direct question, so he's getting his answer now. Your videos tend to be very artistic, that's very kind of you to say, and you often post pictures you have created concerning aspects of Guild Wars 2. Have you studied art? Okay, so yes, I have. I have studied design um, a bit. I did it after leaving school, and I've also pursued it on a, on a hobby basis. And I do enjoy creating fairly run-of-the-mill, but original digital illustrations and graphics. I am very much a novice and oh my goodness does it show. 
using what skills I had uh, back in 2012, the Crichton Herald started its life as a role-playing news edition. On its pages are still stories created by myself and many role players from Pike and Square and the Tarnish Coast. It chronicles our adventures through Tyria for anyone who's interested in that. The images I put together for my videos are very much like those used in the news edition. They are almost always composites created using screenshots and the artwork produced by the brilliant creative professionals that ArenaNet employs. I try to use my design knowledge of composition to create well-framed images and shots. My goal is to showcase the breathtaking world created by the environment artists and modelers who have breathed life into the game we all love so much. Sometimes I succeed, yay, sometimes no, no, not so much. <laughs> uh, so I hope that answers your question. Moving on, I get a lot of requests and questions regarding guides and to a lesser degree law videos. So I want to give you an overview of what I'm planning over the next few months. I am creating new player guides for all the professions. So Elementalist, Thief, Warrior and Mesmer are done. The LE is a bit light on content, I might go back and have a look at that, but I'm pressing forward at the moment, I want to get through them all. The order of release for the remaining professions will be, as you already know, Guardian, then Engineer then Necromancer, Revenant, and finally Ranger. The next law video will profile the Silvari race, uh, starting with its modest introduction at the end of the Eye of the North, and following the race's evolution through the personal story, and the rise and fall of both Scarlet Briar and Mordremoth. As and when the next expansion hits, I will make guides for each of the new specialisations. I have a long list of topics for future videos for both gaming content and lore. Content wise, long term, I, I want to cover event maps and legendary items and crafting and fashion wars, of course, and collections, because collections make up a huge part of the game. Lore wise, I will be profiling races like the Silvari, and I want to cover the history of prominent characters uh, like Esther Golkin. Uh, Queen Jenna, and of course I want to follow the various storylines which run through the game and the different maps. I would love to know what lore videos, game guides or reviews you would like to see on this channel. Let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to make it happen. Your input is really vital and it matters a heck of a lot to me. If you are planning on joining the Guild Wars 2 community, there are referral links below to both the free to play game and the Heart of Thorns expansion. These referrals help support my channel thanks to the generosity of ArenaNet. I also want to give a shout out to everyone who supports my content to Patreon. You guys help this one woman show keep running and I cannot thank you all enough. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you didn't. And as always, thanks for watching.